Today is Pi Day. Happy Pi Day. March 14th, 314. 3.14159265358979323846264338. Oh my, I might have made a mistake in there. Happy Pi Day. What is pi? Okay. Pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. So if you measure around the circumference and measure the diameter, the ratio is pi, 3.14. That's what it is. But I want to show you something really cool about when you draw a circle on a computer screen or on a smartphone or anything that has pixels. It, it's gonna, I'm going to show you that the ratio of the circumference to the diameter is actually 4 instead of 3.14. And I thought that was really cool. You know, having studied calculus and limits and all this kind of stuff, you, you have a certain way of thinking it and, and you think that uh, the real world sort of follows the ideal world, but there's a discrepancy here that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to make a series of approximation of circles and I'm going to show you that, that the perimeter of this red figure is 4, the edge length is 1, and the perimeter is 4. And I'll show you how that works. So the edge length is 1. So I'm just creating a correspondence. For these blue lines, I'm showing that the, the blue horizontal lines match up to the edge. And the green vertical lines match up to the edge. So therefore, the perimeter of this red figure is 4. Now let's do the refinement. So I'm going to make better and better refinements of a circle. And each time, the perimeter continues to be 4. Here the perimeter is 4. You know, starting to look like a circle, but still, still the perimeter of this red figure is 4. 1,024. Now that looks like a pretty good circle, but it's drawn on a computer, and we have the case that the ratio of the circumference to the diameter is 4 instead of 3.14. Now let's, let's zoom in. I'll show you these little pixels here. If we zoom in, you can still see that it's pixelated. So we're drawing those, you know, Manhattan block uh, pixels. So even the perimeter of this circle is still 4. And that's why I, I write this down, that this is kind of a, a crazy statement, pi equals 4. But it is true that the circumference over the diameter is 4. And then if you say, well, the definition of pi is the circumference of the diameter, therefore by transitivity, pi is 4. So and here I'm zooming in on the pixels. I'm showing you that, you know, the perimeter of that red figure is 4. Okay, cool. So now here's, let's, let's switch gears. Let's tie a rope around the equator. So the, the distance around the equator of planet Earth is about 25,000 miles. Now I'm going to cut that rope and I'm going to add some length to it. I'm not going to tell you how much I'm going to add. But I'm going to add so much length that the rope is one foot above the surface of the Earth. Around the whole equator, it's one foot above the equator. So how much rope do we need for the, how much rope, how much extra length here do we need for the rope to stay one foot above planet Earth around the whole equator? And it's 25,000 miles long. So you might think you need a lot, a lot of rope to do that, but you only need two pi uh, feet of rope, about 6.28 feet of rope, and the, and the rope will be one foot above the equator. It's, um, you might have thought it was a larger number because you might think it's nonlinear. The circumference is a nonlinear function of the diameter, but even, even at uh, the radius of the Earth, it's still a linear <coughs> function. So this holds true for any circle. For, for any initial diameter, if you want to add one, if you want the, the new circumference to be, the new circle to be one foot away from the old circle, this length is always 6.28 feet. The size of the visible universe is 93 billion light years. But you might say, hold on a minute, the age of the universe is 13.8 billion years, so therefore the diameter of the universe should be 28 billion light years. So how do we get 93 billion light years where, for the size? And that's because the universe itself is expanding. Um, and 93 billion light years is about 10 to the 27th meters. So if we had uh, 27 decimal digits of pi, we'd be able to calculate the circumference of the visible universe 
to within a meter. And the size of a proton is about 10 to the minus 15 meters. So we need 15 more digits to resolve that. So 27 plus 15 is, if we had 42 digits of pi, which is just this right here, in 42 digits of pi, you can calculate the circumference of the visible universe to within the diameter of a proton. So for all practical purposes, you just need about 42 digits. Well, the, the Planck length scale is about 20 orders of magnitude smaller than that. So maybe uh, 20 more digits if you want to go down to the Planck length scale. And if you want to talk about something bigger than the visible universe, the, this Fermilab guy, Fermilab has a really good YouTube channel. And he said that we know for sure the size of the actual universe has to be at least 250 times bigger than the visible universe. I thought that was really cool. Uh, check out the Fermilab guy's channel. What about capital pi? What is capital pi? Capital pi is just the notation mathematicians use to mean a product. So if we write something like this, product of pi of n equals 1 to 5, it just means we're, we're multiplying things out. And that's, for example, 5 factorial, as opposed to this Greek sigma thing. This one's more common, which is summing things up. It's the analog of the capital sigma. That's what capital pi is. So capital pi doesn't have a value. It's just a notation to mean, like, take the repeated product of this thing. And we can use that, for example, in this um, impossible riddle video I made where you're multiplying the number of hairs on everybody's head. So say, say there's 7.5 billion people in the world and HI is the number of hair on the ith person's head. Say we stand all these people in a row. And so we're just multiplying all the number of hairs on everybody's head and what is that product. And you'll have to watch the video. I can show you how to get this answer exactly correct. And if you're a programmer, you can um, type this into Python, look at it carefully. That's how I generated all those circle approximations. And that's what I wanted to say about that. Happy Pi Day. We only need to know Pi to 42 digits to calculate the circumference of the visible universe to within the diameter of a proton. And anytime we draw a circle on a television or a computer or a smartphone, anything with pixels, the ratio of the circumference to the diameter is four. <sighs> Happy Pi Day. Oh, if you're still watching this video this late in the video, you're some kind of mathematical freak, you like math, so why don't you buy this shirt, this Pi shirt, it's uh, free shipping for Pi Day. See you later.